electronic industries have been affected vitally by the development of commercially usable radioisotopes. One of these industries is steel, which until a relatively few years ago used many hand operations, some of them inexact and highly hazardous. In some procedures, for instance, hot feet were passed back and forth between the rollers until they had reached approximately the desired thickness. Today's requirements demand the production of sheet steel of a thinness impossible to achieve in a hot strip mill. Steels for use in making tin plate, for instance. Cold reduction of hot rolled coils supplied the answer and provided a new use of radioisotopes. Isotopes had been used before in the steel industry for radiographic testing of materials. Now a new use was found, thickness gauging. In this plant, as in many others throughout the United States, a radioactive source is used to maintain a constant control over the gauge of the steel as well as over its quality. The atomic source in this installation passes signals of instruments which measure and record the thickness of every foot of the sheet and activates controls which automatically make adjustment when needed. Minute by minute, the gauge scans the sheet and notes any imperfection which passes its invisible beam of nuclear rays. Housed in this heavy steel head is a hermetically sealed capsule containing 300 millicuries of strontium-90, a tiny pellet which can control the great production line. This measuring system contains three parts. A radioactive source, emits a beam of energy through the material to be measured. A detector converts this energy into an electrical signal by means of a gas-filled ionization chamber. A measuring circuit in turn converts this signal to a usable reading. But it does more. The same signal not only records the thickness to an accuracy of plus or minus one ten thousandth of an inch, but it also automatically activates controls to adjust the pressure on the rollers if the measurement varies from the specification. In this plant at Columbus, Ohio, similar gauges are being made for scores of other applications. These may be installed in paper, rubber, or plastic mills, cigarette factories, or even bakeries, where they are used to measure the density of the dough. The source may be one of a number of radioisotopes. The source is locked into its housing before delivery to the installation site. This one has a useful life of 15 to 25 years. Though the cost of the source is small, usually less than $50, the associated electronic equipment which records and feeds the information from the gauge to the control mechanisms may run into thousands of dollars. But the industries which are using complex circuits such as these, and there are now approximately 4,000 applications of this kind in the United States, have found that radioisotopes are enabling them to maintain closer tolerances and at a lower cost.